What's up everyone? Today I'm down at Jaguar, Land Rover, Porsche, Volvo of Greenville getting to check out the 2018 Volvo XC60. Huge shout out to them for providing this vehicle for today's video. Definitely check out their website in the description below. And the model that we're looking at today is the Inscription. It's finished off in a nice gray and has an MSRP just over 63000 Three different engine options are available this year. They all share the same two liter four cylinder platform. This vehicle has the supercharged and turbocharged engine. The T5 comes with a base turbo engine and then the T8 has the additional plug-in hybrid system. All of these vehicles are paired to the eight speed Geartronic automatic transmission. The engine in this model produces 316 horsepower at 5,700 RPM and 295 pound-feet of torque at 2,200 RPM. The turbo engine comes with 250 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. If you opt for the T8 with the additional hybrid system, that bumps up the numbers to 400 and 472 respectively. This vehicle features the Haldix all-wheel drive system. It has a curb weight right around 4,800 pounds. 0 to 60 can happen in 4.9 seconds with a top speed of 140 miles an hour and with an 18 and a half gallon fuel tank you can expect the MPG to be 21 city and 27 highway. The wheelbase measures 112.8 inches. It has an overall length of 184.6. The width measures 74.9 and it has a height of 65.3 inches. Starting up front with the traditional Volvo style grill with a forward facing camera located below the logo. LED headlights and LED fog lights come standard with an intricate pattern in the headlight design. There are four parking sensors. This vehicle comes with 20 inch wheels with a nice two-tone design. They're wrapped in all season performance tires. Disc brakes are in all four corners measuring 13.6 inches up front and 12.6 inches in the rear. An optional air ride and active suspension can be offered along with the side sill and trim pieces located below the doors. The inscription badge is located on the lower section of the side doors and there's nice chrome pieces accenting around the windows. This vehicle also comes standard with power folding side mirrors. And finishing up with the integrated spoiler with the third brake light, the vertical LED tail lights, this comes standard with a backup camera and power lift gate. There are six rear parking sensors and then the dual exhaust. This also has a towing capacity of 3,500 pounds. And now with the key, we'll go ahead and take a more in-depth view of the interior. The key is wrapped to match the color of the seats. We have your lock, your unlock to open the power lift gate, and then a hazard switch on the other side. Of course, with the key in my pocket, all I need to do is place my hand in the door handle. It'll automatically unlock. The side mirrors will open up. The door panel is finished off in very nice leather with white stitching running along the bottom. All of the windows are automatic up and down with your lock and unlock, your power adjustments for the mirrors. You have your aluminum release handle with some adjustments for the memory seats. This has the upgraded 10 speaker Bowers and Wilkins sound system. You have two speakers in the door with some more storage space located down below. And now taking a look at these leather seats. You have inscription embroidered in the top headrest. More white stitching with some perforations running along the center. Nice bolsters to them. These have a 10-way power adjustability, of course all of your automatic controls on the side, and you can adjust the front to give you some more comfort. Once inside, we're greeted by a fully wrapped two-tone leather steering wheel. You have great hand positioning on either side, very nice feel with all the materials used on it. On the right side of the steering wheel, we have all of your radio controls along with your hands-free controls. On the left side, we have all of your cruise control buttons along with your adaptive cruise control settings. So you can mess with the buttons located on the top and bottom and go through your following distance. On the left side of the steering wheel we have your lift gate open and close along with a dimmer switch for the center gauge. We have one air vent, more leather running along the center, another speaker directly in the middle. We're going to take a quick look at the center gauge setup. This is a 12.3 inch display screen. You have your speedometer and speed limit on the left along with your tack and fuel on the right. You also have the temperature gauge and clock up in the center along with a navigation screen directly in the middle. And coming along the center is a 9 inch touchscreen display system. There are a variety of different settings that you can use on this. There's a center home screen which brings you back to all of the different settings you can go through. This particular vehicle has all the bells and whistles. You have your engine start stop when you come to a complete stop. Your cross traffic alert. 360 degree view camera which we'll go ahead and take a look at. So that way you can see anything around you there. 
park in and out is for automatic parallel parking. You have your heads up display adjustment, folding headrests, multiple different things to go through, active bending headlights, which is a part of a package I'll go over later in this video. You have all of your climate control buttons to use, all of your heated seat adjustments as well. Then of course you have your Bluetooth, your radio, some other settings that you can scroll through. To the left and right of that you have one air vent. There's also this very nice trim piece running along the center. It's also on both of the doors as well. Below that there's a couple buttons. We have your hazards, your defrosters, and some controls for the radio. We'll take a look at the shifter, putting it into reverse. You'll see the backup camera automatically pop up. Your side mirrors will also adjust as well. And now putting it all the way into drive, we can actually pop it over into sport mode and shift using the shifter. To the right of that, we have more of that inlay pattern. In front of the shifter, we have a little bit of cubby space. We can also slide this one all the way back, revealing two cup holders. You have a little bit of space in front along with a 12 volt. Behind the shifter is your engine start stop button and you actually have to twist it to turn on and off the vehicle. Then you have a drive mode button, which I'll get to later in this video, along with your electronic parking brake and a button to turn on and off the engine activation. We'll take a look at the center console. You have a lot of room down there. And then one look at the glove box. Decent amount of storage space as well. We'll take one last look at the interior. This does have the moonroof with the sunroof up front as well and the sunshade. Very nice leather seats and then of course all those controls for the sunroof are located up top there. And now we'll go ahead and take a look at the rear seating. Door panel is obviously finished off like the front. Looks very nice with the white leather. You have a little bit of storage down below along with two speakers. This is a five seater, so let's go ahead and hop in. Behind both front seats, you have some netting for extra storage space. This has a four zone climate control system in the vehicle. So you have your rear controls right in the middle along with a 12 volt located down below. Legroom is very great. I have the front seat set at my height at 5'10", and then the headroom is equally as great. I actually have about four inches above my head. We'll go ahead and take a look at the center pullout here. You have two cup holders in the front, along with a little bit of storage space and a compartment in the back. Very good amount of room in the back seats. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at the rear storage space, and you can either hold down on the button on the key fob or obviously push up underneath on the door itself. You have a great amount of room back here with 30 cubic feet of space with the seats up. On the right side, you can actually fold the left and right seat down just by pushing on this button. It'll automatically fold down there. You can also raise and lower the vehicle to make it easier to load things into the back. There's a removable tenu cover that you can use. You can also completely remove that for extra storage space. So for a five-seater, you definitely have a lot of room. There's two grab handles located up top, and then we can just push on that powered liftgate to go on and close up. All right, so now it's time to get the XC60 out on the road. If you guys saw my last video, I did, reviewed the XC90. This is the smaller, more crossover vehicle than the XC90. Obviously, it just has five seats instead of seven. So everything is virtually identical. Let's get it out on the road. So I'm gonna start out with all of the options that this vehicle has. This is priced out to pretty much the top spec that you can get for this, aside from having the hybrid engine option. All of the luxury tech features include the vision package, which has the additional blind spot monitoring, the cross traffic alert, automatic mirror dimming, and the power retracting outside mirrors, along with the parking assist function that you can use while parking and while getting out of a tight parking spot. This also features the luxury seat package, which adds massaging and ventilated front seats. These are wrapped in the Napa leather again, and equipped with side bolsters and the cushion extenders that you saw up underneath the front of my legs. And last up is the convenience package, which includes the adaptive cruise control and semi-autonomous pilot assist while you're driving. And along with all those features, you do have the heads up display. So right now I'm looking at my miles per hour along with the speed limit on the road. And there's actually another indicator lighting up right now. I think that's telling me my following distance between the vehicle in front of me. So overall, I really think with all of those features that you get, especially with the Napa leather seats. The interior in this just feels so premium. I love the feel of the steering wheel with the two-tone leather. It gives it a really nice look. Very supportive as well with having the adjustable side bolsters. These are actually pretty aggressive. They're about the width of my whole hand there. Very comfortable to sit in. I can definitely see this being a daily driver. All of the materials are finished off nicely. You have this two-tone with the wood inlays running along the center dash, which I showed earlier. Everything is very simple. You know, it's easy to use. It's just like you're on your phone. There's very few buttons located underneath it, so everything is laid out very well. 
Moving up to the uh, dash, you have black leather, which is a nice contrast to the Napa leather seats. We're coming up to a turn right now, so I might as well talk about the brakes. Do a very good job at slowing it down. Don't feel too much body roll. I didn't go into that too much though. You know, for a, a small compact SUV though, it didn't have very much body roll, felt very planted. And then coming to a stop here, I'll go over the engine start stop feature. So everything just shut off. The tack went all the way to zero. Putting my, or taking my foot off the brake and giving it gas starts right back up. Moving on to visibility, while this is a small crossover vehicle, the visibility is actually surprisingly open inside. Um, obviously clear view out of the front. You can actually see between your side mirrors and the A pillar, so that gives you a little bit more visibility. But overall, just looking around, especially with the moonroof open, obviously gives you a lot more light inside, feels very open. Looking over your left and right shoulder, you easily have a great view. You can see out of that left shoulder perfectly. And then over your right shoulder, there's not too much of a blind spot back there. It's actually very small. So definitely good 360 degree view. And with the optional package that this has featuring the 360 degree camera, you have no trouble seeing around you, especially at lower speeds. Maneuvering is gonna be very easy since you can see everything around you. So back to just the overall driving position of this. Uh, so far, just driving it a couple miles here, everything feels super solid. You know, there's not a lot of wind noise. The, com the ride is very comfortable. It's absorbing all these bumps very well. For being just a five seater, you definitely have plenty of room in here. So I could easily see this being a great daily driver. Plenty of room behind those seats, even with them up. And then obviously you can fold all of them down. They have a 40-20-40 split. So you can do that center one by itself you, to put things through, or you can do all three of them at once. So in comparing this to the XC90, obviously that is its bigger brother. You can fit seven people in that car. Everything basically feels exactly the same. I've driven these cars about a week apart from each other. Aside from the different trims you can get, the steering wheel is a little bit different. All of the other controls are exactly the same. So it feels very similar. Last thing I'll do in this test drive is just check out the power in this car. Ooh. Wow, with that supercharger and turbocharger, there is hardly any lag in that. I didn't put the pedal to the floor, but for the weight of this vehicle, it definitely gets up and goes. Wow. Easily gets up to speed. There was a little bit of lag there. Uh, just going about 30 miles an hour. And now we'll take one last look from the passenger side. Very nice looking interior on the door, along with the inlay running along the front dash. Everything is so clean and premium feeling looking in this car. We'll go ahead and take a look at the rear seats real quick. Definitely a lot of storage space. As you can see with these seats down, you can remove this if you have anything larger. So there's plenty of room. Very nice materials again. So that is my walk around review and test drive of the 2018 Volvo XC60. Huge shout out again to Jaguar, Land Rover, Porsche, Volvo of Greenville for providing this vehicle for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more videos to come. I'll see you all next video.